I brush my teeth every day. There's a mistake in this sentence. Can you find it? It's a grammatical mistake. Did you find it? Let's check the answer. I brush my teeth every day. Every day is two words. This is the correct way to write every day, where every day means each day. Do you know where are my shoes? What's the mistake in this sentence? Again, it's a grammatical mistake. Come on, try to find out. There you are. The correct sentence is, do you know where my shoes are? The direct question is, where are my shoes? And the indirect question is, do you know where my shoes are? Where's the mistake in this sentence? I don't like to travel in a train. There's a small but critical grammatical error in this sentence. And the correct sentence is, I don't like to travel on a train. There was a wrong preposition in the earlier sentence. We say in a car, in a taxi, but on a bus, on a train, on a ship. We sold all our old furnitures. Can you spot the error in this sentence? That's right. Furniture is the correct word. In the question, it was furnitures. Furniture is uncountable. You cannot say furnitures. He lied on the floor and read a book. What's the problem with this sentence? Did you get it? By the way, did you subscribe to this channel? Please do. And don't forget to like this video. Alright, let's check the answer. He lay on the floor and read a book. Now, why is this sentence incorrect? Tiger is a wild animal. This sentence is incorrect because tiger is a countable noun and it needs an article. Or you need to turn it into plural, tigers. So, you can say it correctly in three different ways. A tiger is a wild animal. The tiger is a wild animal. Or, tigers are wild animals. But you cannot say tiger is a wild animal. There are a table and two chairs in the room. This sentence is obviously not correct. But what's wrong? Ah, uh, thank you for pointing out the mistake. The correct sentence is, there is a table and two chairs in the room. He hit the nail hardly. What's the mistake here? Yeah, that's right. The sentence should be, he hit the nail hard. Hardly is an adverb with a negative meaning. It means almost not. Hard is both an adjective and an adverb. As an adverb, it means forcefully or with a lot of effort. Can you find a grammatical error in this sentence? I bought some bananas, few pencils and a bag. And the mistake is few. It should be a few. What's the difference? Well, a few pencils means some pencils. It's positive. Whereas, few pencils means some pencils but not enough. So, it has that negative meaning to it. One of the teachers are absent today. What's the problem with this sentence? The problem is with its grammar. And the problem is subject-verb agreement. The correct sentence is one of the teachers is absent today. Whenever you have one of the, the verb is singular. One of the teachers means one teacher. And you know what? We found a website with thousands and thousands of free grammar worksheets. Check out the description or the first comment below for the link. Well, that's all for today. Have a great day.